When you look up at the night sky, do you ever wonder how we might visit another planet? Like Mars? Researchers at NASA have been working on humankind's journey to the red planet for decades. Over the years, they've sent a number of spacecraft, orbitals, rovers, and satellites into space, giving us a look into what lies far, far beyond our reach. But the furthest humans have traveled is only to the other side of the moon. Venturing deeper into space has posed a number of new challenges. How will NASA astronaut crew live in space? Will their health change? What happens in the event of an emergency? And what will they do when they get to Mars anyway? Questions like these have made planning the trip a difficult task. But it isn't impossible. NASA has come up with a unique way to connect the dots between Earth and Mars through a series of stepping stones. This special route to Mars, called Ares, arriving realistically to Earth's sister, details a complex celestial dance with NASA spacecraft technology, and none of it would be possible without the main transportation vehicle, Orion. The Orion spacecraft is specifically designed to carry NASA astronaut crew to and from Mars. It is composed of three main parts, the launch abort system, the crew module, and the service module. Astronauts will travel in the crew module when Orion carries humans from Earth and along the stepping stones to Mars. But it won't travel alone. Orion is lucky to have some help from a few friends at NASA. The Space Launch System is a heavy-lift launch rocket that will help build the stepping stones for Ares by carrying large quantities of materials into space. Eventually, it will also launch Orion off Earth and beyond low Earth orbit. The Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway is a working space station that encircles the Moon. The Lunar Orbital Platform Gateway will provide a habitation system, docking capabilities, and technical support for future space missions. For Orion, it will be where the crew module will join and connect with the Deep Space Transport. The Deep Space Transport will carry Orion and its passengers through the longest stretch between stepping stones. Design plans are still being researched, but an onboard habitation module will help normalize the long journey to Mars. And finally, the Martian Orbital Observatory is the planned deep space workstation that will receive the deep space transport and serve as the primary living quarters for astronauts at Mars. Taking the Ares pathway to Mars is similar to a baton race, but the real challenge lies in surviving the journey. Researchers predict that a single Mars mission can take approximately three years, which poses a number of stressors for NASA astronaut crew. They include health risks, like exposure to cosmic radiation or prolonged weightlessness, psychological effects from isolation, especially in being disconnected from real-life Earth events and interactions, social effects of living with a small group of people in cramped conditions for a long period of time, and technical issues like spacecraft repair or medical emergencies. NASA plans to solve these issues by using SLS rockets to stock food and supplies at each stepping stone of the Ares pathway before Orion arrives. Both the Deep Space Transport and Martian Orbital Observatory will provide ample space to facilitate spacecraft maintenance, mission communications, exercise, and room for personal recreation. To stay down to Earth, Mars explorers may even do things to normalize their time away from home. But once on Mars, there is so much to explore. NASA astronaut crew can use a variety of exploration vehicles on the Martian Orbital Observatory to travel to an ideal Mars landing site for their next research steps. Whether it's to investigate the environment, to explore possibilities for building a society on Mars, or to search for signs of extraterrestrial life, the opportunities on Mars are endless. Our desire to explore the universe has always been built on a dream. We've taken big steps before. Everything we have and enjoy today is the result of the thousands of steps humankind has taken over the years to discover the wonderful world around us. So where do we go next? Next time you look up at the night sky, consider where we've gone and where we're going, and ask yourself, how big can you dream? <laughs>